Hi, I'm Miriam Joy and welcome to my studio. I'm going to show you how to make your dollar skeletons glow as, as well as spooking them up a little bit for the holidays. You can also add a wreath to the bottom to use them as a centerpiece or while they're glowing put a bunch of them out in the yard to frighten the trick-or-treaters. This is a simple project. You're going to love it. It's great for a last minute one if you need it. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to do our glowing skeleton hat, and this is real inexpensive and real fast and easy to do. You could even just use it outside with decorations, or we can add the candle holders to use it as a centerpiece, and we'll discuss that as we go. And I set mine in a wreath just to make it a centerpiece and add more to that. Now, our candle holders, you pick up the candle holders and the skeleton, at the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree and we're also going to get a glow stick. You want it one that's too not too big that you can stick it inside the skeleton hand for it to glow and it gives you this real cool effect. Now I've also used like the bracelets. I've just broken them and put them in and you can get all of those. You can get 10 for a dollar so that's really really good. Now on the candlesticks candle holders they're too low and they don't look really good so we're using two of them and what I did is I spray painted them with just some inexpensive black spray paint for under a buck at Walmart I spray painted the bottoms and right inside the tops now you can spray paint them or you can also use a multi-surface paint, which we're going to use on our skeleton head to make it more spooky, and just paint that, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you have. And then once that is sprayed, then just take your E6000, which glues glass to glass, and stack it, make sure it lines up. Make sure when you pick these up from the store, sometimes they have circular ones and these have ridges, so make sure you have two that match. And then you're just gonna glue them together and you're gonna get that height and your skeleton head will sit right on top. So that is how we've made it thus far to that guy and isn't that really cool look how the black just fades in and out I really like that we also can do a bow to just give it more of a festive look and I'll probably add that a little bit later here just a Halloween bow of some kind and just put that on with probably a pipe cleaner now the skeleton heads have changed over the years so you might have a year that you like them better so kind of know that they can be different from year to year but we want to get this more spooky look so we're going to take our again our folk art I'm using black and I'm going to use a multi surface so it stays on and if the eyes need blackened up, this one's not bad, but this one had really light eyes. And I just took my finger and rubbed it in the paint and the nose really easy. But we're going to do a dry brush method. That means we're not going to have any water in our brush. It's going to be nice and dry. And I just used child brush paints, or excuse me, child's brush, or you could use... Um, an old brush and we don't want much paint on it we're going to wipe a lot of this off and I want it kind of in the crevices of the skull and then when it starts to get just a little bit of paint we're going to just go here and there kind of all over our skull and we want to make sure that we get our teeth kind of well so we're going to do those kind of well. We're going to wipe a lot of that off in just a minute here. And then I'm going to just finish dry brushing it wherever we think it needs a little bit more texture, spooky. So it looks like it's been in the ground for several years instead of fresh off the store floor. All right, now we're just going to take our paper towel. We're going to rub some of this off. Some of it we want to leave, especially in those crevices. We want to leave that. But we're getting rid of that new plastic look. I think I'll probably go ahead and do the eyes again. Now when it's teeth, you want to 
leave the stuff in between. You don't want to take all of it off. That looked much better than it was. We want to have that wrong brush here. You know, some there. I'm going to darken those up just a little bit more just to get rid of that plastic look. That's so much better. So anywhere where you feel it needs just dirtied up. And that's spookier already. Okay, once you've got that done, we're simply just going to take our hobby knife and we're going to poke a hole where we can insert our glow sticks. So depending on what type you're using, how big you need to poke that hole, and whether you need to poke it at an angle or not. And I'm going to use yellow glow sticks because they seem to glow the brightest. And they're also going to fit in there really well. And if you have a pack of two and you're only doing one of these, then you can use both of them if you want. There's no, no right or wrong, but how fun these are going to be when you set them out front of the kids, see them as you go, they come by. How fast you could do, you could do three, four, five of these, put them together in a clump in the yard. And set them wherever you want. And I just simply set that back on. Now we don't want to glue this on if we want to put the glue stick on it, in it, to glow. So think about that. If you wanted to just leave it, you could. And then you could put it on with the E6000 and you would have it. But that's just really fun, really fast. And we'll try and turn the lights off here and see if we can show it glowing a little bit. I hope you enjoyed our little video for you today. Give us a thumbs up, tell us that you like it, and subscribe to our YouTube videos so we can continue to grow. Have a safe Halloween.